discharged from the hospital just three days after having a brain tumor removed. That is what happened to a Tampa man, and now his wife is trying to get him home. And ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Ariza sat down with her. She says her husband beat the odds with COVID last year and is now battling another fight, this time with insurance. Okay, come give me a hug. We're good. I'm an old lady. I Playing can't... outside in the yard with little ones these days is a moment of reprieve for Ramonita Garvin. I just want to get my husband home and my family back together. Her husband is Philip Garvin, a retired Hillsborough County detention officer who has battled serious health issues these past four years. A stroke paralyzed him. He regained mobility, but was a victim of COVID, landing him in ICU for 46 days. He miraculously recovered only to find out he had a brain tumor last month while visiting family in New York. At Franklin, they uncovered this massive tumor that nobody knew about. Philip had an emergency craniotomy. Oh, and by the way, he also tested positive again for COVID while in the hospital. Day three was the worst day because that was when the call started coming that he was being discharged. Discharge papers show Philip was cleared, but because his Medicare was out of state, it wouldn't pay for his physical therapy, even though it is recommended. And his medications post-surgery, Ramonita says, are costing close to $2,000. And that's just for two. A representative with patientadvocacy.org, a nonprofit that works in the health insurance realm, says standard Medicare has its own set of rules. And it doesn't follow the typical insurance standards that we see with the typical agencies putting families like Ramonitas in a panic to find ways to pay for all of it. Financially, it's it's harder than what we thought. Philip hasn't been cleared to fly, and financial circumstances are making it hard for Ramonita and her family to bring him home to Florida. Her 13-year-old daughter, she started a GoFundMe page to help, hoping to get her dad home. I'm not used to asking for help. I don't know how to ask for help. This is all new for my family. We want to put this behind us and, you know, get back to where we were. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.